Well, thank you very much. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, and as you can see on my background is uh, the last conference that I've been into uh, at the Oracle User Group Norway. Uh, that was in 2016. Uh, uh, that looks like ages ago, <laughs> given the pandemic. Um, now, uh, today uh, I'm going to be talking, and this is you know, 10 tips on choosing the best Oracle analytics strategy. Uh, and one of the things that I do in this presentation uh, is you know, get a picture of what are the different tools that are available from Oracle and you know, how to choose the right tool. And I'm gonna be doing a mix uh, between you know, the, the analytics tools per se, which means you know, uh, uh, tools that will allow you to dr drive decisions on your organization, as well as the little pieces that are technical, that are part of, and, and, and th those are, um, you know, uh, part of the, um, the solution, the overall solution and the architecture of, of this, okay? Now, let me do a, a quick um, review of who I, I am. Uh, so I'm Gustavo Gonzalez. I'm speaking out of Argentina. It is 9 a.m. here. Uh, and I, you know, I've been working with Oracle technology uh, for more than two decades now. Um, uh, I started as a developer, you know, working uh, with as a DBA and you know developer with PL SQL and reports and forms and all that. And over the years, started working more on uh, applications. Um, and when you jump into the applications, there's a, a, a critical component to the applications, which is business intelligence and, 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 and how to get the information out. Um, I'm also uh, been working a lot with communities. Uh, I'm a, one of the founders of the Argentina Oracle user group. Um, I'm also uh, was a, a past president of the Latin America Oracle user community for about four years, um, you know, which is the umbrella of all the user groups in Latin America. I'm now a Oracle Applications Technology User Group. It's a, the applications and technology use in the United States. I'm, I'm, part, I'm a board member on that. I'm running two special interest group on that. Uh, and I truly think that you know, all the user groups and all the communities uh, are helping us to make the best use of technology. Uh, there was a, um, a, um, a survey that uh, demonstrated that companies using Oracle products that were part of a user group uh, were more satisfied and were more happy than companies that were not part of user groups, okay? And that is because you are sitting, you are talking, you are interacting with um, uh, other organizations that are having the same challenges or, than you. And you know, that, that allows you to network and look for opportunities uh, on things that you might not even imagine, okay? And it's right next to you uh, without any consulting fees, right? So this is, this is the, the, the spirit of all these communities. Um, now, one of the things that, you know, and I, I co-author a book on, on EBS and Suite and, and you know, some other uh, 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 material. Now, I work for a company and I'm wearing two hats, okay? Um, one hat is running and, and being the chief technology officer at IT Conversions which is an Oracle partner, right? It's a Platinum partner and that I'm running internal IT. And one of the things that I do internally is run the operations with Oracle products, okay? So for many years, you know, since I joined the company and I joined the company about uh, eight years after it was established in the US, 
uh, they opened an office in Argentina. So I joined there. We were about 200 employees and, and I joined there to start this, to start the strategy of a growth. And, and the company um, uh, made a, you know, a, a 5X uh, since I joined. And you know, what, we, um, you know, what we have developed is a strategy of okay, taking our own medicine. So we implemented the business suite. We did multiple operators of the business suite. We implemented many analytics tools and some of the products that I'm going to be talking today, we implemented, we move into fusion uh, applications. We started the strategy on analytics on fusion applications. So all the things that I'm going to be sharing with you today are a mix of, okay, I'm sitting as a customer, an Oracle customer. But the second hat that I have is helping customers. So I, I, I experienced by myself running IT with Oracle products, but I also helping customers, you know, to go to, you know, their journey to the cloud, their journey on uh, the, the IT strategy, okay? So that gives me this background of, okay, it's not just my organization, it's also helping other organizations and, and, and moving towards other organizations on, on how Oracle can be uh, the best use uh, in terms of getting you know the best ROI. So that's that's a little bit and and you know what, one of the things that I want to do is I want to start with this you know a chart uh, from IDC and this is a challenge that every organization so everyone here have been through this which is you know struggling with data okay uh, which means, well, you know, uh, I have been, you know, uh, uh, working with, you know, many ERPs, you know, as I mentioned EV business suite, fusion applications, and and all. And when 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 talking about um, getting the data out, we we typically spend about more than eighty percent managing the data which means, well, you know, uh, how to search for data, how to prepare for data, how to uh, protect that data through security roles, et cetera. And then about less than 20% analyzing, okay? Um, uh, and, and this is happening while all the business and our organizations are constantly changing. Uh, so COVID made us switch into a fast paced mode to many organizations. Uh, and that is where, you know, you just have the time or resources to deal with this data struggle, okay? Uh, and, and that's what, you know, we need to think. And those are, you know, the 10 tips that are gonna be summarizing and, and wrapping up this presentation. But before, let me get started and, and talk uh, about, you know, what are the things that, you know, the tools and the portfolio of Oracle products that are today available, okay? So I'm gonna, you know, just do this, you know, uh, a round of products that are available. And I will start with Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition and Oracle Business Intelligence Applications. So OBI EE has been, I think since the acquisition of Oracle Civil. And what it does, it just sets the, the platform. It's a suite of products that allow, and I will double click on each of them, but its summary is, well, it's a suite of products that allows you to have all, this, all the aspects, all the different layers of analytics, okay, in a single suite. Now, there's another component called Oracle Business Intelligence Applications, and many organizations are using that product uh, because it was a, a, a fast implementation. It was a pre-built implementation for 
EVs and Suite, JD, all the legacy, all the, the applications and limited products from Oracle, you had that out of the box, okay? You have, you know, Data Mart out of the box, you know, uh, um, data extraction, uh, dashboards, pre-built dashboards, all that in a nutshell. So we saw that many companies had the benefit of, okay, running Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition plus Oracle Business Intelligence applications. And with that, it doesn't matter if you were running eBusiness Suite 11i and you had in the in plan um, operating to release 12. Well, that was automatically, like you were just pointing and that was pre-built for your source system version. So you have the ability to move along uh, with that, okay? Now you have, and I'm gonna drill down into some of the technical components, such as the Oracle Analytics Server. And you, you, you know, I'm gonna briefly explain and deep dive on the Analytics Server, which is something that, you know, when you have on-premise, it will give you that ability to jump into the next level. Uh, then we have the autonomous data warehouse. And during these two days, there is a, a database event at Oracle online. Um, and you know the, we see a lot of features coming up. Uh, and I've been talking about autonomous data warehouse and, and the benefits of autonomous um, and how you can benefit from moving your on-prem data warehouse to the autonomous data warehouse, uh, which is a fully managed database, which is optimized. And I will talk about uh, some of the features and why that, that is convenient to you. And then we have the Oracle Analytics Cloud. And the Oracle Analytics Cloud is the, I would say the evolution of Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition and the evolution of into a cloud environment. Now, we are getting the benefits of cloud, which means, well, uh, you know, we have scalability, it's a public cloud service, um, you know, feature reach. We are getting many new features on every um, um, version of the product. Uh, which means that, you know, that is the evolution of OBIEE and what you will think of if you are planning on an analytic strategy uh, forward looking. Then we're going to jump into these two components. And one of them is the enterprise performance management, which is EPM. Now, on EPM, um, which in the past on the on-prem world, it was called the um, you know high premium type of products, uh, but it's you know today and the evolution in cloud with EPM cloud, it's a full suite that allows you not just to report, okay, but to do a full financial management, okay. Um, which allows you to do forecasting, budget, uh, closing, um, um, consolidations, everything, right? And it's not just a reporting. Of course, the, 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 the overall and the objective of EPM is reporting. It's getting the, the monthly end or the year end closing reports, the financial results and getting information for your decisions, you know, that, that will, you know, will be taken into that, right? Like, okay, so how I will report my consolidated numbers, right? But also giving you the ability to interact and, and make, um, uh, make adjustments at um, uh, um, forecastings, adding budgets. The next component, which is Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence, it's something that comes with Fusion applications, okay? So in Fusion applications, 
uh, which is the SaaS product, is the evolution of Oracle Business Suite built as in a software as a service. There is a component and you know, um, we have been using BI Publisher for many years. So I don't, I'm not even mentioning BI Publisher as a, as a developer report solution because we're talking about analytics. So BI Publisher is already, it was any business suite, it is in fusion applications, but transactional business intelligence, it's a view of the existing data in fusion applications that allows you to navigate, to analyze, but it's not built on a data warehouse. It's our views and, 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 and data from objects that are pointing directly to the transactional, um, uh, to the fusion applications transactional data, okay? Now, the last piece of that, you know, this, this circle of uh, Oracle Analytics portfolio, it's something that it's pretty new, right? And, and it's not that Oracle is, well, it's, it's, it's a new product that was built just a, you know, less than two years ago, uh, which even had a different name. It was called OAX and now uh, Oracle right after building this product, they changed it to FAW, is a fusion analytics warehouse, okay? And I could you know, think of, okay, this is the combination of the, the cloud technical components that I mentioned, such as ADW and OAC. And I could think of, it's the evolution of Oracle Business Intelligence application. So it's a pre-built product with pre-built uh, extractors, a pre-built uh, repository, a pre-built dashboard, pre-built reports built for fusion applications, but it can also be extended to other products, okay? So this is the umbrella of products that I will be uh, talking today. And, and this is what, you know, the things that, you know, I want you to, you know, start evaluating when, when thinking about moving into the next, um, uh, the next step in terms of analytics for your organization. This is how we are going to be, uh, you know, all the, the different uh, portfolios of Oracle that will help you. Now, let's jump quickly into some of these products and, you know, maybe what's, if you already have one of these products, let's, you know, see what's the strategy, what's the next step? How would you be able to evolve with the existing products? So many organizations are having Oracle Business Intelligence uh, um, uh, uh, Enterprise Edition or OBIEE. So this is the OBIEE suite, okay? And uh, uh, of course, as I mentioned, you know, you have at the bottom, you have all the different, you know, sources that you can be plugging in. Um, and, you know, it has, you know, the, the, the business model, okay? Uh, intelligent, you know, caching to make it easier and faster to report. Uh, you have all the different, you know, calculations that were built. And on top, you see all the different options that are available, whether it's, you know, interactive dashboards and, and, and things of that nature, right? Now, this is the Oracle Business Intelligence architecture. And, you know, the, the key components that I want you to take with this, you know, you can still use this. And, and there is, a, I will talk in, in, the, in, in two slides about, you know, the, the, the life, you know, the product life and, and the support. Uh, but basically what it does is, you know, it has, it comes with, you know, an ETL low mapping and RPD, which is a repository uh, and all these products that you can source from preview, you know, from your ERP and it's going to be with some configurations, it's going to be automatically, um, you know, plugged in. 
So you get the fast time to market to make an analytic strategy uh, um, you know, from any source there. Now, how that works, you know, and, and you have at the bottom, you have all these different products, you have, you know, the, the metadata, the data warehouse. Again, we're talking about, this is, you know, in the on-prem world, okay? This is OBIEE, as you probably have today with multiple versions of databases and, and you know, your data warehouse and the tool that allows you to extract and transform data. Now, some organizations have been, you know, using, you know, the, the prior and the, the old discover version and pointing that directly into um, Oracle Business Intelligence to make it easier to, you know, get reports out of an uh, ERP, your EBS suite, or your, your JD Edwards pointing directly and having a, a, a presentation services on top of that. Now, what is happening today with the evolution of cloud and the, and the you know, fast pace that we need to have as organizations that are running uh, Oracle products are the different options that are available using cloud, okay? So Oracle Business Intelligence applications um, you, you can see that there are some different options, okay? And the, the first option that many organizations are having today is the full on-prem, okay? Which is, you know, having ODI, you know, the Oracle database and the Oracle analytics server, everything on-prem. That's the typical today implementation. Uh, now, we have been helping customers uh, on these two different approaches, which is Oracle Business Intelligence applications on cloud, okay? Having some of the products on the cloud. And then, um, of course, a hybrid approach, which is kind of like the evolution of how you can you know, get um, Oracle analytics in the cloud and keeping and remaining your existing uh, Oracle data integration and data uh, um, database uh, as, a, as a repository for your data, okay? So those are the different options that are today available that you can think of when you are uh, considering to evolve and do the next step on Oracle Business Intelligence application. So some of the uh, information, and I'm, I'm gonna leave this presentation so the user group can share uh, the, the, you know, the links on that. But, you know, that's the first is a, a document on my Oracle support of the statement of direction, okay? And this is, you know, these are the things that you can see that in terms of, you know, the extended support fee for, for the version 11.1.1.2. Um, and then, um, you know, what are, uh, the plans and, and one of the things that I see, you know, and I want to highlight there is the certification of um, uh, the Oracle Analytics server, okay? Um, uh, and, and, and also the, the, the past deployment on OCI, uh, which are, you know, important in terms of how you plan in, in moving forward in terms of you know, uh, getting your Oracle Business Intelligence applications versions on operating system or cloud vendors, okay? Uh, that's in a nutshell what you see in terms of Oracle Business Intelligence, okay? Uh, uh, Enterprise Edition and Oracle Business Intelligence applications. Now, let's switch gears into the other product, this product that, again, as I mentioned, uh, it's it's the evolution of Hyperion, and I'll talk about a few in, in the next slide about you know what's the statement of direction of Hyperion and the statement of directions of uh, you know the next steps. Now, enterprise performance management is not just you know, budgeting and forecasting and budgeting. It's a full suite, which, you know, allows you to, you know, 
you know, get all the operations, you know, with a financial view, this is something that it's important. It's, you know, when, when talking about EPM, it's probably something that you will focus on financial. Say, okay, no, I'm, I'm gonna be, this is a pure implementation for financials, but it's not strictly to financials, it's to financials data, okay? Which means that you're gonna have operations, HR, sales, marketing, IT, all connected, pulling information out of your actuals, which is, you know, we have been successfully implementing EPM, sourcing data from e-business suite, SAP, JD Edwards, Fusion uh, applications. So again, it doesn't matter what, what your source of data is. And that allows you to you know, do all the planning, which means you know, uh, getting um, you know, uh, uh, budgets and forecast and line of business planning, okay, with best practices, you know, profitability, costing, etc. In terms of closing, uh, you know, it's it's a consolidation and close. It's it's all the orchestration of the month close, okay, which includes reconciling accounting, uh, tax reporting. So we're talking about an advanced reporting. And, and when we're talking about, you know, this analytics and reporting, there's a, a new way of analyzing the data with things like narrative reporting, uh, interacting dash, interactive dashboards, and regulatory feelings. So you can pull out, right out of EPM, you know, some of the regulatory and XBRL uh, feelings right out of your EPM solution. Now, this is not the end. There's also um, a component of embedded artificial intelligence and machine learning on this product that allows you to, you know, have automation and uh, you can also have uh, digital assistants, you know, chatbots that you can talk and, and ask, request questions uh, to with, with natural language processing to the tool. And I will allow you to get information out in a more conversational way. So all of that, think of all of that, you know, getting a full view of your financial data, data with your operations with your line of business view, with data governance, with hierarchy management, uh, and, and of course, security and control. So that's EPM. So that's a, the view that you're gonna have from EPM. Now, let me come back to steps now and think about, you know, uh, what is it, the old version? So many of you and many organizations that are even you know, probably considering EPM Cloud that are still on uh, Hyperion, well, these are the statements of direction of Hyperion, okay? So for those who are on 11.124, the premier support ends in almost a month from now. In two months. Um, now, the release 11.2, which has a couple of years back, uh, you know, it has a, a couple of features, okay, uh, such as you know FMW and 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 a repository simplification, you know, so that the app rate takes, you know, it doesn't require a long project, but it has some some things that to take into consideration, uh, but it will give you, you know, ongoing release for all fixing and third-party certification, at least until 2030. Okay, so that's that's what we see in terms of um, uh, high premium. Now, in the market and in our customers, what I see with EPM is that they are either going in two directions. Some of our customers are 
going into a Hyperion running on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So that's move of, okay, what I have on-prem, I move that into um, a, a, a cloud provider, a, a cloud infrastructure provider, such as Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And some of them are going into EPM, um, EPM Cloud, okay? Now, why moving into EPM Cloud? These are some of the aspects. And one of the things that I want to highlight by talking to other you know, um, uh, IT executives uh, in terms of, okay, what's, what are the benefits? And they are very happy with EPM Cloud uh, besides you know, having all the maintenance on the hardware and the IT charges. One of the best things that they see is you know, the, the ability you know, to have this process, this innovation process, being able to innovate faster with the tool, features that are you know, constantly improving and, and, and a product that is evolving on a fast-paced mode, which in the past, um, coming from a Hyperion and coming from you know, uh, this you know, on-prem world, it was a little more difficult, okay? Now, that's on the APM world. Let me switch a little bit into transactional business intelligence. Uh, and here, you know, uh, you know we, we, we have been, you know, talking about, you know, fusion applications. So what you see here is fusion application, which is, 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 is the, the cloud software as a service solution from Oracle, which means it's not a business suite in the cloud, it's a completely different new product. It's not JD Edwards in the cloud. It's a completely different product, okay? Built from scratch. Now, this product, you know, you have the ability to run BI Publisher and point strictly into Fusion applications um, tables, right? Uh, just like you did in the EBS suite. Now, there's another component that is coming built in on top of Fusion applications, which is a transactional business intelligence. And this transactional business intelligence has this layer, this business intelligence view objects layer, okay? That has two components. There's also a component of S-Base specifically for general ledger, okay? For, for GL uh, with, uh, cubes, okay, S-based cubes that it's available there. So every time that you made a journal entry in Fusion application, that goes and feeds an S-based cube. But that runs into a common semantic model, Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence semantic model, that on top of that, you have pre-packaged reports and dashboards, embedded analytics, and something that we've been doing. And, and we're running internally fusion applications at IT conversions. And you know, we have been the users been trained on how to create their own reports, their own transaction OTBI reports, you know, starting from an existing you know, report and it's starting to move and change that uh, into what they want, okay? Moving and that allows our organizations to move from a IT driven report strategy into a more self-service, giving the cities and developers the ability to run uh, their, their own and um, build their own reports. Of course, there's uh, some components that will require IT to take control, you know, adding you know, things or modifying the, the semantic model to make some things, some fields available, some columns available, but that's, you know, that's the that's strategy. Now, when thinking about it, right, that's the overall strategy that we want to go in terms of, you know, how, what's the next step in analytics, how we're going to make our organization uh, more uh, fast-paced, more agile, okay? Now, when talking about transactional business intelligence, and I've been 
uh, talking to many customers on, okay, so what can I do with transactional representations? How big is that? Do I have to pay extra? No. And that, how do I, you know, what do I have to do in terms of, of getting this implemented? Well, it's real time inside, inside your SaaS, okay? Uh, think about more than 9,000 data objects, okay? That are, you know, built into functional subject areas that a user can go to that subject area and, you know, pull in, you know, um, fields and columns that are with, you know, are, are called with the business name, okay? And another thing is that these reports are executed in real time against Fusion Applications Transaction. So these are some of the things, this is a, you know, and I took this from, I think, you know, from our internal uh, implementations uh, and what you see here, are previous, right? So these are things that receivables. This is how within receivables, okay, um, you can you can check in receivables you know, uh, a dashboard that is pre-built. Um, these are another example of payables, okay? And what you see here on the top is the subject area. So you have small subject areas such as payable invoices, okay? And you see folders. And within those folders, the use, so it's easy for the user to say, okay, well, I'm gonna get invoice details. So I'm gonna plug in there, right? I'm gonna get, you know, um, dates, okay? So I'm gonna be able to, you know, uh, uh, move the calendar month if I want. Um, uh, you know, again, very easy for the users to pick and choose and move into that. And then, you know, what you see here, it's part of the component, it's a sub-component the, of the Oracle Analytics Cloud, okay? Which we, I'm gonna be talking in, in, in a few slides. So, you know, these are the key areas of the transactional business intelligence. So why this is, you know, useful? It's because you have uh, uh, built, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, very rich in terms of the different objects that you can report, um, getting real-time data of fusion applications, um, you know, and of course because it's it's embedded into fusion SaaS, you can jump and move seamlessly with your own user from uh, uh, your you know your dashboard into a transactional. Uh, business intelligence. So it's going to be seamless. Now, what you need to think is when implementing Oracle transactional business intelligence, all the setups that you have done for your users, whether it's filtering for a specific business unit, filtering for a specific data set, that it's going to be embedded in the user. So you don't have to get a different um, uh, uh, set up or configuration for security for your users. So everything is gonna be embedded into the security based on the current setups of Oracle SaaS. Now, let's talk a little bit about, you know, analytics and, and in terms of, of analytics and what's the landscape of that in terms of Oracle. We have three things here that I want to talk about. One is the Oracle Analytics Cloud. The other is the Oracle Analytics Server. And the, the last one is the Oracle Analytics for applications, okay? Those are three things that you have, you know, different, different scopes and, and who is managing. So who is gonna be managing? So it, it, it's giving you different flavors for you to drive and to manage the, uh, the analytics solution. So the Oracle Analytics Cloud, it's a full Oracle managed solution. It comes with AI. Uh, we're going to see a few things, but you know, connectors to cloud and on-premise, you can connect to both. And that is where one of the things that I, when I mentioned about for OBIE, moving into a more hybrid approach. It's with the use of Analytics Cloud. The second is the Analytics Server, which for those customers that 
are still on-prem and wants to have this evolution, okay? Now, analytics server, the Oracle analytics server, is what is giving you this path or this journey to the cloud. It's a private cloud. It has connectors to cloud and, of course, on-prem. And this is going to give you this you know, hybrid approach of being able to, whether it's you have it on-prem, and you can still connect to cloud. You know, we have some organizations that they're, uh, they're working on um, with some uh, subsidiaries running eBusiness Suite on-prem and some subsidiaries running uh, Fusion uh, Cloud. So you have the ability to have this, you know, to, to move into this hybrid approach. Now, if you have Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition, the good news is there's no cost to upgrade your current uh, app server of OBIE into the analytics server, okay? And then we're gonna talk about this in, in the next few slides, which is the analytics for applications, okay? Which is the new product from Oracle that allows you to have all the information from your SaaS product, from Fusion SaaS product, you know, having that pre-built, the same concept of business intelligence applications. And what that means is, well, I'm gonna have my Oracle applications at the bottom, right? SaaS, which is ERP, HCM, supply chain management, cloud um, customer experience, you know? But, but not just that, I can also have other applications as well. Now, the thing is with that and with the adoption of the cloud technology that I mentioned, that I mentioned, such as the autonomous data warehouse plus the Oracle Analytics Cloud, I'm gonna have pre-built the fusion module analytics, which is Fusion ERP, Fusion HCM, maximizing the value of your cloud SaaS solution with a fast time to market, being able to get out of your SaaS solution, the different products. And of course you can extend, right? And there's, a, I'm gonna talk in a few slides of how you can extend into more data sources and plug that in, into your Fusion uh, uh, um, FAW, okay? Now, let me, let me talk you know, and extend a little bit on FAW, okay, which is a Fusion Analytics Warehouse. And, uh, uh, you know, again, you're gonna see that this, and I'm talking about ERP analytics, but this is extensible for all the different uh, modules of, um, uh, of Fusion applications. Now, this is, you know, when you are thinking, and again, we have customers that have chosen this path of having Fusion uh, ERP, and continues to use Oracle Analytics Cloud with um, autonomous data warehouse and building it from scratch, which means data extracts, data management, creating dashboards and being able to analyze. Now, go back to my first pie chart. We're talking about, okay, I'm, I'm spending all this time here with the 20% of analyzing, right? Now, that is something that Oracle is helping organizations to move faster, to turn it on, configuring it, and having all the time for you to analyze the data, okay? Now, which means a pre-built data model, a pre-built data pipe from, you know, uh, Oracle Cloud ERP2, um, uh, Fusion, FAW, and then of course, pre-built KPI dashboards and reports that you can tailor, okay? Uh, now, you can also pre-built, you know, uh, think about this as a pre-built data model. Now, one of the things that is happening to us Fusion application or SaaS customers, and you probably have uh, Deborah talk this morning in this event uh, about 
Oracle Integration Cloud uh, and, and you know, how technology needs to be you know, aligned with uh, fusion applications. But one of the things that is happening today is that every three months you have a, 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 a release cycle, okay? Now, um, this FAW, you know, Fusion Applications Warehouse, this allows you to have all these pre-built content uh, that this pre-built content is aligned with the release cycle of your SaaS. So that is something that you, know, you need to think and consider when moving. Now, when you go and build from scratch, well, you will have to be able to adapt and, and make you know, all the changes to the data extract and the data management, which means more time uh, building and less time analyzing the data. Now, um, which means again, faster time to value and lower total cost of ownership versus building and maintaining it yourself. Now, uh, let, me, let me tell you what are the steps in terms of Fusion ERP analytics. It's, you know, um, just getting pre-built monitor business performance dashboards, you know, in terms of uh, how to implement, uh, it's literally a, a few clicks. It's literally, you know, just, you know, a few steps on how to get this to work, uh, which, you know, uh, in terms of, of God, you know, how you can do it, it's going to be very seamless for you because it will take existing setups, existing information of your Fusion SaaS solution, you know, and, and just thinking about the next step in terms of, okay, how do I tailor that for my users? And of course, it's extensible, which means that, you know, and, and I will talk about uh, in a few slides, how you can extend uh, that uh, in, in your, um, to add, your own data, you know, your own sources of, of data into this product. Um, what you see here is how to monitor. These are all the pre-built content that is available right uh, there, right? Um, there is a new uh, concept of DEX. So within these DEX, so you can do is you build your own DEX. Um, what I have seen is, you know, um, a, a, a steering committee meetings or, or finance uh, uh, meetings running through DEX. So these are, you know, it's it's the agenda of the meeting is built right on a deck. Okay, so you can go on each of the numbers, whether it's from, you know, sales, um, um, supply chain, all the way to financial analysis. Um, and, and this is you know, a quick uh, summary and you will have this available there. Um, now, the other aspect is how you can easily and quickly move from how to monitor data to deeper insights, such as, okay, I want to analyze my, you know, I don't know, my top 10 you know, cost expenses or, or things of that nature that will allow you to uh, drive through the information. And all of these comes with all the features that are part of the Oracle Analytics Cloud. So it's a combination of analytics data warehouse and analytics uh, cloud, uh, Oracle Analytics Cloud. Um, you know, um, one of the things, and, and this is briefly, it's, a, it's a, an alert, a value to compare a trend and a detailed visualization. So you can, the users, and again, moving into a more self-service solution, the users can personalize KPIs. Uh, there are some machine learning uh, driven alerts. Uh, there are some benchmarks that, that are pre-built in. And of course, all the built-in collaboration capabilities that you can share with users and, and, and interact and comment with users. Um, of course, you know, more information, notifications, and, and being able to get notification uh, with uh, cars, checking 
what requires your attention. Again, all this is part of you know uh, how the information will be dri uh, driven uh, with machine learning. Uh, the other aspect is you know things that are moving from one side to another. So here there are no silos against with with your software as a service solution. You know HR and finance data can be in the same solution. Um, now let me let me talk a little bit here about how you can you know customize and and talk about things that are are important here on on the customization. So on 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 the red uh, left hand side you have you know the prepackaged data pipe, the package schema, and and the the semantic model that is out of the box. On the right hand side. It's your custom ETL. It's going to be your custom schema running on the same autonomous data warehouse that is a prepackage, okay? Uh, but okay, you're going to be able to extend that and being able to, in the custom semantic extensions, build your own custom semantic extensions and get this integration between the the, the built-in solution and your own. Now, that means that. You will have to extend. You have to work and extend uh, with some uh, license or subscription to AC and ADW. Okay. Uh, now, a couple of things in terms of you know what are the you know the 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 specific of this. Well, you know FAW includes Oracle Application Cloud and ADW as part of you know you just pay per user, right? Um, now, if you want, you know, uh, Oracle will take care of any capacity, okay, and it will out to scale, you know, based on your 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 application. So that's that's kind of cool. Now, if you want to extend, then you will have to subscribe into ADW and OAC uh, for your own custom, okay, and that's you know the the how Oracle will balance both in terms of you know, on one side, the, the aspect of, um, you know, uh, maintaining the release cycles, okay? Now, quickly, just to wrap up in, in the next three minutes, um, you know, consideration, you know, the 10 tips, okay? Um, choosing a data warehouse, you know, these are some of the aspects that will allow you to use ADW and will benefit you and your organization from this. Uh, again, the ADW is being used, you can use it for your own data warehouse, but also it's being used for FAW. Analytics Cloud, which is something that it's a solution, the previous solution built for ADW, uh, for, um, for FAW, uh, and a bunch of features that are available there, augmented analytics, self-service analytics, which is the objective of all the IT organizations running, you know, we're going heading into that direction. And of course, all the govern analytics with security, uh, smart connectors, uh, and the agility to um, uh, growth and uh, based on the demand. Um, the approaching of analytics, and these are some of the things that I also cover here in terms of, okay, how we're gonna get the data integration, how we're gonna do the data management and how we're gonna do the analytics, okay? That is the agile analytics approach. Um, now, jumping into the next, you know, two slides, three slides, you know, what is the analytics solution, okay? That based on the business users, okay? Now we can talk about you know, from left to right, we're talking about staff or managers that are running the daily operations. We're going to be talking about, and this specific flow for cloud um, cloud SaaS solution, it's going to be embedded reporting, BI publisher, uh, financial reporting center, which allows them to get daily works, real time transaction reports, and financial statement. Okay, typical solutions for that: BI publisher, OTBI financial reporting center, okay? Now we we'll move into more the accountants and analysts, we're gonna be talking about EPM with being able to have a financial consolidation, have narrative reporting, and being able to have this forward looking with, with planning. Uh, 
Now, in terms of moving towards analytics and executives, we're going to be talking about fusion ERP analytics with a package plan, a self-service data discovery, and giving you the ability to these you know, users, this type of business users, you know, having the ability to plan, to have a root cause analysis and to have predictive analytics. Now, three more steps in terms of, okay, how to plan. Are you on OBIE? Well, for existing OBIE customers, it is highly recommended, whether it's on-prem or on a cloud, upgrade to Oracle uh, application uh, analytics server, OAS. Now, if you are on OAS and then you have the ability to be able to have this hybrid component of acquiring and moving analytics cloud and plugging analytics cloud with all the benefits that are coming with that as part of your solution. And then, course, if you want, then you can also have, you know, remain in a premise or a private cloud, but start with Oracle Analytics Server, prepare for, for moving into Oracle Analytics Cloud. And of course, the last one is if you have an Oracle SaaS solution, Fusion Applications, think about extending with FAW, a pre-built solution that comes with all the features that are part of the Oracle Analytics Cloud and ADW with the ability to extend it yourself, but with an overall solution with all the cloud benefits. Now, this is the summary. So these are all the steps. This is a very quick presentation. This is something that can be for, you know, we can be talking for days about it, okay? Some information that you can find is we can, you know, we, we are posting blogs and, you know, a, a lot of information there. And you can also get into, you know, some of these uh, documents uh, of either the analytics for applications, which is there in that URL, and also a very detailed three steps, you know, bang, 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 for implementing and getting analytics for ERP, especially for uh, Oracle uh, Fusion applications. Uh, I'm going to get back uh, to you. Uh, yeah. So um, I hope either that I'm not exceeding time. I see so the next you... presenter is on there. <laughs> uh, here are my contact details. You know, feel free to, you know, I'm very active on LinkedIn and, and, and social media. Uh, so feel free to reach out to me if you have any any questions. Um, thank you very much. Thank you to the user group uh, for uh, still moving things along uh, even during this pandemic. Uh, and I hope uh, we can see you in person very soon. <laughs>